Do you know there's a way to try all Retouch For Me plugins without having to buy them individually? Some of you have complained that it's a bit expensive buying all the Retouch For Me plugins. Retouch For Me listened and they've introduced a cloud-based retouching panel that has all the Retouch For Me plugins in one place. What this means is you no longer have to buy each plugin separately and install on your system locally. With a simple subscription-based system, you can subscribe and get credits to retouch your images using Retouch For Me Cloud Panel. This also means that if you don't have a powerful computer to run these plugins locally, that headache will be no more. Let's take a look at the key features of the Retouch For Me Photoshop Cloud Retouch Panel. It has all the plugins in one place. You don't need a powerful computer to be able to use AI to retouch. You pay per image retouch, which means if for any reason you don't retouch in a month, you pay nothing. Before I take you through how to use this panel, let's download and install it. You can download the Retouch For Me Photoshop Cloud Retouch Panel using the download link in the description of this video. Using this link gives you 100 bonus retouches and 50 to 300 retouches based on the plan you select. The link takes you to the download page and then you can go through the basic download procedures. The panel itself is free, so we go ahead and download it. When you click on the link, it brings you to this page. Now you see, get free cloud retouch credits for subscription and 30% off on all plugins for all followers of Ghana Near Photography. So that's the importance of using the link in the description of this video. You get all these benefits. Let's go ahead and click on download. Yeah, I'm using Mac, so I'll go ahead and download the one for Mac. Now, if you realize it says purchase because I have already downloaded this, so we'll go ahead and then do the installation. If you're using the Creative Cloud version of Photoshop, once you double click on the downloaded file, Adobe will install it for you. But if you're using a non-Creative Cloud version like me on Mac, Follow these steps. First of all, this comes as a .ccx package. What it means is it's uh, it's been zipped. So you will need to unzip it first. That's uncompress it before you'll be able to use it. So you can right click and then use any unzipping app of your choice. I use um, archive utility. So I'll just use this and it has unzipped it. So you go ahead and then copy this unzipped file, not the one you downloaded. You will copy what you got after unzipping. Then you navigate to your applications folder, choose Photoshop, the version you're using, then go to the plugins folder and then paste what you copied from your download over here. So once you paste it here, you have to restart Photoshop if it's already opened or if it's already running. If it's not running yet, then just start it and you will see your plugin over there. So let's go to Photoshop. We are in Photoshop now, a voila. This is our panel. If you don't see it here, you can go to plugins and then you see retouch for me panel here and click on it. It will open it for you. Now that we have our plugin installed, let's go through some retouching. I must say the cloud version is insanely fast compared to the local versions, especially if you have an under resourced computer. The main reason for the Retouch For Me Photoshop Cloud Retouch Panel is for you to get familiar with all the plugins before you decide on which ones to purchase. Also, this cloud panel is suitable for people who don't retouch lots of pictures on the regular. If you're doing many retouches on the regular, you'll be better off buying the standalone plugins. Once you install the panel, it comes with 20 free retouches. So this is for you to be able to test the various plugins before you decide to purchase. So here, We'll log in later, but for now, let's use the 20 retouches that we have. So I'll go to Capture One and then export this image to Photoshop so you can use it. I have other tutorials on how to do this, exporting from Capture One to Photoshop and back to Capture One. So if you want to watch it, I'll add a link in the description. So here, let's go to Edit With and then Photoshop. And yes, I want it in um, TIFF edit variants. So here we have our image here. Now what you need to know is each time you select and then run the plugin, one credit goes. So if you decide to do heal first and then go back and then do probably portrait volumes and then dodge and burn, if you do them one after the other, you're spending one credit pair each time you click on it. I don't know if you understand but Let's say I select heal and then I go ahead and play it. 
it's going to apply here, which will take out one credit. Then if I decide to do dodge and burn and then go ahead, it will take another credit for dodge and burn. So the trick is uh, decide on what you want to do, the full thing you want to do on the image. Select all of them and then click one. If you select three different um, plugins and you click once, it's going to take only one credit. Instead of taking uh, one credit per plugin, it will take one. So each time you press to process, it takes away one credit. So take notes. For each plugin that you select here, you are able to change the some you are able to change some values like the sensitivity for heal. Then if you come to dodge and burn, you're able to change the blend and the warm, just like in the plugin. If you come to portrait volumes, you're also able to change the blend. Now they come at some default values. You can change them as you move on. Now, if you look over here, you, see, you have the cloud retouch and then we have the on device. So these are the ones I have on my app installed on my device. So this plugin can work both for locally installed plugins and then the cloud version. For this video, we are focusing on the cloud version. So let's go to the cloud. And then here now it's asking me to log in. I have an account. So let me just click on login. And over here, it's uh, requesting for permission. So you say allow. Then it takes us to the website. And then we just have to approve. Okay, now it says access granted. So we'll go back to the plugin. And now we have buy retouch and then we have retouch. So as I was explaining, if you select heal and dodge and then you go to retouch it's going to pay just one credit now if you select only heal and then you retouch and later you realize you need to add dodge then you come and select dodge of course without the heal and then you go and retouch now it will take two credits do you get the difference so yes make sure you you decide on all the plugins you want to apply select all of them do your settings and then Click retouch once, so it takes less credit. That's like um, a trick. So on this image, we can tell that we want um, to do heal by all means because we have some blemishes we want to take care of. So we'll surely select heal first. Now you can come here and then change the sensitivity. I want it to remain at 100%, so I'll keep it there. Then I want to do dodge and burn as well. And then I would want to do some portrait volumes. Aside that, yes, I would want to apply some skin tones because the makeup on the face, it's a bit different from uh, her skin tone on the chest here. So I want to apply some skin tones. Now with the eyes, I want to apply eye vessels and eye breather. There is some teeth showing, so I want to apply some white teeth as well. So with this, if I click on retouch, it's going to apply all these things from the cloud and it will take just one credit because I have accepted, I have um, selected all the plugins that I want applied. I'm going to click retouch just one. So let's go ahead and retouch and see the power of it. Um, cloud retouch will send your photo to our server for retouching on your request. Okay, so this is um, some disclaimer. I say I agree. And once you have good uh, internet connection, you should be good to go. So here it says enhancing active. So we see what's going on there. If you check up here, you realize that now my credit has moved from 100 to 99 retouches, which means all these things that I've selected because I clicked on retouch once, it, it takes away only one credit. So here, everything is going on. It's applying everything that I selected one after the other. You see how fast this is going. And it pays to note that you need uh, a very good and fast internet connection to be able to achieve a seamless uh, result. So here, if you look at it, it has applied everything that we selected. Now let's uh, go here through one by one and see. So let me disable everything one after the other. So here is our background layer, the eye vessel. Layer three, okay, that's for the eyes also. Layer two is for the teeth. See, this is before, this is after. And then we have our heel, we have our dodge and burn, we have our skin tone, and then we have our 
working for me. This is perfect, guys. Just look at this. Now, let me just put all this together and then create a folder. So we have before and after. Before and after. And it took less than 30 seconds to get this done using the cloud. If I was using the on-device plugins, those that I have installed on my system, this would have taken me like 10 minutes because my system, even though it's a, an i7, it still doesn't run as fast as doing this for the cloud. And all this that I get to just one credit. So if I'm supposed to do this, for me to be able to exhaust my 100 credits, I'll have to do this 100 times. So imagine retouching 100 images so quickly like this. So I'll go ahead and save this. And then we'll go to capture one and then take a look at before and after. So these are the two images here in capture one. We can zoom in, but this is too much. So this is on the left is after, on the right is before. This is amazing. Now let's do this for a second image, this one. Let's um, edit with Photoshop. Edit variants. And over here, let's see, we don't have um, eyes, so we take out eyes. We don't have teeth, so we take out teeth. So here, what we want to do is we want heel. We want the heel to be applied to this. We want dodge appearance. We want portrait volumes. And at the same time, we want skin tone. But here, the, if you look on the background, we have some blemishes here, some dirt and all that. So we'll add plain backdrop. Let's see if we can do any. All right, we leave it just as it is. And then we go to retouch. So we'll just take a look here. Once it starts, you realize that the credits will reduce to 98 because we clicked twice. And I must highlight that this process is very fast. It's way faster than doing it from your system. So imagine you're traveling and you have a good internet connectivity in your hotel. You don't need to spend much time doing this on your system. You can just do it on the fly using this uh, approach and life will be good. So just like that, we have everything done here for us. So let's um, group this here and then let's go through it one by one. Let's disable everything and then go one after the other. So first of all, clean backdrop. If you look at it, it has cleaned the backdrop for us, taking out the blemishes and then here, Taking off the blemishes on the skin, dodge and burn, skin tone, and then portrait volume. So, all together before and after. Let's save it and then go to capture one. See what we have. So, let's um, have this is before and this is after. So, on the left is our before. Look at this. On the left is after, and on the right is uh, before. So if you look at this image here, you see how well AI has been able to retouch it for us without much stress. So our last image is this um, outdoor image. So let's export this also, edit with uh, Photoshop, edit variants. And right here, we are going to check and see what we want we want to work on. So here, um, basically the same thing. We don't need, have any background to clean, so we take this off. So we want to heal, take off blemishes. We want to dodge and burn. We want to do portrait volumes. Then some skin tones. We don't have eyes. We don't have teeth. Yeah, so we leave it as it is and then go straight and retouch. Now watch this. From 98, you should jump to 97. Yeah, it's on 97. Ah, uh, retouch is done. So as usual, let me group all of them. Then we take a quick look at before and now. Before and now. Let me save it. So we go take a look at it in capture one, side by side. So here we have our two images. Uh, this is too much. 25% and here to 25%. So if you look at our after on the left and then our before on the right, you realize that AI did a very good job for us 
now that we have gone through this together go ahead and get familiar with these plugins by downloading the panel using the link in the description of this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if it has been helpful to you